Pakistan's illegally imprisoned former Prime Minister Imran Khan has said that 24th is a crucial day for the nation. In a message conveyed through his sister Alima Khan, Mr. Khan said, quote, We must rise against the injustices being inflicted upon us. Step out and show that this system is unacceptable. On November 24th, you must come out for the sake of your future. Unquote. Mr. Khan said that Pakistanis have been completely enslaved while adding that the three pillars of democracy, media, judiciary and the people have been destroyed by Pakistan's ruling military government. Imran Khan urged Pakistanis throughout the world to join the protests for the restoration of the constitution and democracy. Quote, your freedom is near. Overseas Pakistanis should step out in their respective countries and speak out against the injustices happening in Pakistan. Raise these issues everywhere. Unquote. Mr. Khan is currently spending his 471st night in a maximum security prison cell. Imran Khan's Pakistan Tehreek Insaf has ramped up its public mobilization campaign ahead of Sunday's Democracy Restoration March. Conventions and corner meetings are taking place throughout the four provinces and in Azad Kashmir. Party supporters have also increased outreach throughout the bustling bazaars, distributing pamphlets with Imran Khan's message for Pakistan on the importance of the march. The party's social media has also prepared infographics and short documentaries on why Pakistan needs an independent judiciary. In the Punjab province, juveniles as young as 12 years old were arrested as they were passing out flyers for the democracy, underscoring why Pakistanis must respond to Imran Khan's final call, said party supporters as they condemned the authoritarian government. Lawyers from across Pakistan Monday challenged the 26th Constitutional Amendment in the Supreme Court. They argued that the newly formed constitutional bench created under the 26th Constitutional Amendment could not hear their petition. Pakistan's military government illegally amended the constitution, splitting the Supreme Court and blocking the ascension of Justice Mansoor Ali Shah, who was next in line to become the Chief Justice. The petition states, quote, Justice and fairness also demand that the instant challenge to the 26th Amendment to ensure the dispension of justice and fair play be heard by a full court and not just a constitutional bench which has its genesis in the 26th amendment the very amendment under challenge unquote. the petitioners requested the court to strike down the 26th amendment on the grounds that the requisite two-third majority was not lawfully obtained Pope Francis has called for an investigation into whether the occupational Israeli military actions in Gaza legally constitute genocide, according to a book due out this week. The Pope has previously criticized Israel's attack on Gaza as immoral and disproportionate, but had stopped short of calling for an investigation into whether they violate international law. Francis reportedly privately used the term genocide last year to describe Israeli military actions while speaking to a group of Palestinians, the Washington Post reported. Quote, a According to some experts, what is happening in Gaza has a characteristic of a genocide, unquote. Francis is quoted as saying in the book, Israel's genocide in Gaza has killed at least 43,922 Palestinians and wounded 103,898 since October 7, 2023.